Hi, everybody. My name is Isla Monocle. I'm the founder and creator of You Know Me, Not My Story, and the series You Know Them, Not Their Story. Welcome to the 15th episode of You Know Them, Not Their Story, featuring Jenna Mora Toronto, Miss Northeast Collegiate USA. Hello. Hello. How are you? Good. How are you? I'm great. Let's jump right into this. Yes. Tell me a little bit about your platform. So my platform is titled, It's Okay to Not Be Okay. I am someone who is diagnosed with depression, anxiety, and ADHD. And as somebody who struggled with the stigma that surrounds mental health and accepting help, I realized that that was a message that I really wanted to share with people. I think that we are at a point in our society where we have mental health awareness. We are more than aware, especially coming out of the pandemic, that mental illnesses exist and now is the time for mental health acceptance. So accepting people for who they are, where they are in the recovery journey, and that people need to accept that they might need help for their mental health and that's okay. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. So since this series is called You Know Them, Not Their Story, what is your story? So I was diagnosed with depression and anxiety as a junior in high school. At the time, I was dealing with a lot of the same things that high schoolers go through, relationships, friendships, bullying, figuring out college, color guard, grades, all those things, and of course, troubles at home. And that took a really big toll on my mental health. And I got to the point where I was struggling with suicide. And I remember going to one of the counselors at my school, my senior year, and saying that I was walking a fine line between giving up and seeing how much more I could take because I didn't want to die, but I wanted my pain to end. And so I was able to get help because I reached out, but I was also able to get help because my Spanish teacher, Senora Simmons, noticed a change in me. And she said to my mom, hey, something's going on with Jenna and I think she needs help. And she was right that I did need help. I think that's so important for adults to hear so that they understand that one adult in a child's life can make such a big difference. I ended up going away to college and I my mental health was still a struggle. There were ups and there were downs as anyone's mental health journey has. But I started to share my story through pageants and that helped me take back all of my experiences, all the pain that I had gone through and turn it into something useful. So being able to work with organizations like the National Alliance on Mental Illness, I've been able to work with NAMI at the local, state, and national level, sharing my story nationwide. And so it's been really incredible to use that story to make a difference in someone else's life. And then to use that to, as a school counselor as well now, Everything has kind of come full circle. So I'm able to be that person in my students' lives that I needed when I was younger. Mm -hmm. So how do you stay positive in a negative world? I, my family will always say that I'm very pessimistic, but I like to say that I'm realistic. And I think that the best way to stay positive is to always look for the good in people. I know, especially when I'm working with parents that might be more of a struggle than others, I have to remind myself that everybody is doing the best they can with what they have. And so while it might not be what I would expect, I don't know what they're going through. So to always remember to treat people with kindness and that we don't know everything that's going on is something that I always remind my students to keep in mind as well. How have you made a difference so far? I, like I said, I've worked with the National Alliance on Mental Illness to share my story nationwide through their Ending the Silence programming. So I've been able to go into schools virtually and in person and talk to students about my mental health journey. Also, as a school counselor, I go in to 14 classes a week, first graders and third graders teaching lessons. So I'm able to directly impact my students and meet with them one-on-one -on -one and in small groups to get to know them better and help them through their struggles. I also am a children's book author. So I have published two children's books, Pearl's Purpose, which is a story of how one little girl learns it's okay to not be okay. And then Pearl's Person, which takes children through grief and what that looks like, because unfortunately it's not a topic that is talked about until someone is experiencing it. So I wanted to make sure that adults, whether it be teachers, 
parents, guardians, school counselors had tools that they could use to start those conversations around mental health at a much younger age. Because I know being 29, I can look back on my childhood and see where mental illnesses were definitely present. I definitely had anxiety as a child, but I wasn't diagnosed until I was in high school. And unfortunately, the average time frame for when a child has the onset of symptoms and them getting help is eight to 10 years. And so I want to make sure that I'm able to leave a legacy of helping kids get the help that they needed. Who or what inspired you to compete in pageants? So I am originally a baton twirler and I had a local director in the Miss Pennsylvania Scholarship Organization reach out to me in 2018. He had heard about me through the baton world and said, hey, you should come do this pageant. And I will say I had been interested in the Miss America organization for three years prior. I had the opportunity to twirl in the Miss America Shows Your Shoes Parade in 2015, 16, and 17 in Atlantic City. But I kept thinking nobody would want a title holder with mental illnesses because everything was about being healthy, being fit. And if I'm not mentally healthy, how can I serve? But our current Miss Pennsylvania at the time, Katie Streckengast, when I met her at my first local and she was just a ray of sunshine, really inspired me that, hey, I can do this. I can be my authentic self and succeed in pageants. And something that touched my heart was her telling me that after her years in Miss Pennsylvania, she started going to therapy for her anxiety because she had heard me talk so well and so often about my own story that she realized that it was okay to seek help for her own anxiety as well. So it's a cool moment that we never know who we are inspiring when we share our stories with others. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. Well, thank you so much. We are all done. Well, perfect. Thank you so much for having me and letting me share my story with you. Absolutely. Thank you. Have a great day. You too. Bye. Bye.